Okay, so now that we have um, Firebase in the app, I want to just give you a quick overview of Firebase and show you how Firebase really works. So let's just, um, we're going to go to www.firebase.com and um, just log in or sign up if you haven't done so already. All right, so now that we're in Firebase, I'm going to click on my app. This is just... Um, a template that just comes we're gonna create our own Ober um, app in here but let's just click on my first app alright so as you can see I have some data in here uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna delete this data I'm gonna remove it and and show you how this works so you just click on the X buttons to remove the data let's see All right, so when you log in for the first time, you're going to get this link right here. This is going to be uh, your base link. All right, so now that you have your base link, this is actually going to be what you use it's up here. You can click up here. This is going to be what you use to um, connect to Firebase in your app. But let's just jump back down and let me show you how this will work. Um, it, we're using JSON key value pairs in Firebase. So if you come here, you can actually add the data um, right here from the dashboard. So you can go and click this plus sign. Let's move the mouse here. Click the plus sign, and then you can add an object called users, which will hold all of the users that log in. And then since this um, users is an object because the users is going to hold each user account there's not going to be a value here so you just click this plus sign again and then under here you can add the name of the user which is going to be an ID we're just going to go let's say HT6758 alright so HT67587 this will be the user ID which will be another object which then holds each user accounts um, information. So let's say this ID is gonna have. Well, we'll come here. We're not gonna give it a value again because it's another object. Boom! We click it again, and then right here we can go Swift Owls, and then we can. And then right here we could go um, something like name, and then we can say value Ryan and then hit enter so this is the structure um, of the data so you have your users object and then each user is identified by its uh, user ID and then each user ID would have its um, properties which would be name or its key value pair so you can have name email and anything that this user um, would need which would be name, well, in our case, it's going to be name. It, it's going to need to know um, the email address um, and the location of the user. So that's just a quick overview. Um, you can make more trees. So I can come back in here and click this plus sign and then name it like location. And then I can drill down and say, okay, this is going to be. Um, an ID of HT768 and then I can add the add drill down and say okay the location is um, 26.0 or something like that and you I, and this is just an example this is not gonna be exactly how we're gonna do this I'm just showing you an example of how to add data into the back end so they're on the at location and users are at the same uh, level so what we're going to do in our app is we're going to actually, we're going to delete this users and we're going to create it in the app. Um, and you'll see how we do that. Let's just X this out. And actually it doesn't, it doesn't really matter because we're going to create our own Ober app. So I can actually leave this data in here. Um, all right, I'll see you in the next tutorial. But just, just remember that it's JSON object key value pairs so you're going to be accessing this data and each piece of data is going to have a key and a value so location would be the key and then 26 would be the value
and then these are your objects so location would be the object it doesn't have a value it's the object that holds the data so this object holds this object which holds this information so I hope that helps you out um, get in there mess with it and, and try to make some data um, and I'll see you in the next tutorial